Okay, we're looking at uh, doing pole sets with what we call a lance cleat. The lance cleat has two sides to it, and the reason we use a lance cleat is it's either in the cleat or it's out of the cleat. There's no accidental re-cleating, which you get with some of the other cleats that people are using in the fleet. Uh, having said that, there are a variety of systems out there, and it comes down to your choice, but we're going to show you the one we use. And at the end of this, we'll show you where things are positioned on the pole, and there's a reason why they're put there, but that's easier explained after we start. Okay, if we move on to where Tina is currently standing, I prefer my crews to launch the pole from a standing position. Um, if something goes wrong, Tina has the option of just dropping a shoulder either into the mast or into the mainsail for balance. So if Tina just leans forward, you'll see that she can balance herself any way she wants, even though there's a mainsail missing. That way, she, well, I've never had a crew fall over. That's their backup position. So some of the key points we're looking for when starting the pole set is good body position. I can't emphasize that enough. Your crew needs to be in a good body position where they can do what they need to do fluently. It's one of the times on the racetrack where the crew has priority on where they position themselves, not the skipper. Which is why I'm really interested in good feet position, good planted feet, good bent knees. So if we look at that, we look at and we see where Tina's feet are currently positioned with at the moment we're going for a right hand pole set so her body is fractionally to the right of centre line of boat. Her inside foot is just on the leeward side of the centre board case, hard against it. Her outside foot is roughly in line with the toe strap but not standing on the toe strap. Um, she then is in a good spot where she can get everything around the mast and move it. So if Tina now goes into one of her normal speed pole sets, you'll see her go tweakers. You'll then see her just move along the pole in a nice steady motion, all the way to the end where she pushes and pulls at the same time before hooking it on, and then shooting back. She then will call out the word balance, and balance says to me that she's about to go and sit on the side of the boat, and I need to move to balance her. She does this in a steady movement so that I can actually counteract her movement. 